Hi guys, my name is Gwyneth Jemsko and welcome to a walkthrough of a quest for toddlers quest within Sims Free Play. It is a main quest within the game which is available from level 12. So as soon as you have completed the previous quests and you are able to do this quest, you will get this pop-up that says new quest available, a quest for toddlers. There is a time limit of two days on this quest. It says celebrate your infant sims birthdays and watch as they grow into toddlers. So obviously by completing this quest we are going to unlock toddlers. We have babies, we have adults and we have babies and by completing this quest we will now be able to have toddlers as well which is very exciting. In this episode we are also going to add a whole new family within the game. I have asked you guys, as you know if you've been watching this series, I've been asking you to comment with suggestions for sim names and sim people that you want to add into the game. I do also ask on the YouTube community tab for suggestions as well and I asked for a whole family and I've got a few suggestions in mind of I need to look through everyone's comments and see what family I am going to add. We will add them at some point during this quest but let's go ahead and get started with a quest for toddlers. The limited time prize that we get that if we complete it within the two days is a cute little dress up chest which in my opinion is absolutely adorable and something really worth having. The dress up chest is so cute, your little toddlers can go to the dress up chest and put on like various different outfits like a dinosaur, a robot, a bee. It's so cute, definitely in my opinion it's worth trying to do this one in the time limit. The first thing that we need to do is watch a documentary. It's your baby's birthday soon and they'll be growing up to be a fully fledged toddler. You should do some research on what's involved in raising toddlers. There's surely some useful info on TV. Watch a documentary on TV. So we need to head home because we're currently at the stables because we just completed the Need for Steed quest in the previous episode. Our baby is currently fast asleep in their crib. Little baby Joshua is soon going to become a toddler. But let's watch a documentary on TV for one hour. We have watched the documentary. Now we need to watch Sunflower Street on TV. Very informative. Next, your sim needs to get an idea of what toddlers like to watch on television. Have a sim watch Sunflower Street on TV. So we need to go back to the telly again and watch Sunflower Street, which is nine minutes. Whilst that is happening, we're going to come out onto the town map and we can add one sim already, but we need another house that we can add another sim so that they can get married. So I'm just going to start building an empty lot here. That's going to take four hours and cost seven and a half thousand. And then whilst that is happening, let's go ahead and create the first member of our new family. I have a comment here from the community tab on YouTube where I asked for your family suggestions that we have a mum, a dad and a baby. So we're going to add the mum first of all. Thank you so much for your comment and your suggestion. So we're going to go with female and they are going to be called Alicia and their surname is Howard. And we've got red hair, fair skin, and green eyes. So let's go fair skin. And then what else did they want? Eyes, green eyes. Let's go with those brighter green eyes. And red hair. Nope, that's the head. We don't want to change head. We want to change hair. Red hair. I'm glad that someone has suggested red hair. We haven't got a red haired sim in the town at the moment. I think I might just go for this one. We're still really lacking on female hair but that's okay we'll just go with this for now and then we'll just dress her in something it is beautiful sunny day here where I am so let's put her in some beautiful sunny clothes maybe just like a vest top would be nice let's go for like a blue vest top and some shorts maybe Let's go for those jean shorts and actually let's just go ahead and change the colour of that vest top. Let's go for purple, that's nicer. And then shoes, I kind of like them but I feel like I've used them a few times so maybe we'll just go for some flip flops. Okay, there we go. So let's add Alicia Howards to the town. We have finished watching Sunflower Street, now we need to change a diaper. 
Oh, what a great show. Phew, what's that smell? Somebody needs to have their nappy changed. Have a sim change a baby's diaper. So, we need to come on over to where your baby is. Click on the baby and just change diaper for 21 seconds. She's like, poof, you stink. I love later on in the game, we get like changing tables and things for babies, which I really like that we can interact with babies more so later on in the game. And also actually later on, we can take babies out of their crib and they can crawl around and things, which is amazing. But that's a long way off right now. <laughs> we have completed the change the diaper task. Now expand or create a room. Once a baby grows up, Sims are going to need even more room. Expand or create a room. So I think, I don't know if I've got room. I haven't got room for baby's room to become like a toddler's room maybe. What I'll do is let's just go into the home store and into house rooms and I'm just going to expand it out slightly. Obviously you can do this however you want if you want to add a new room on for your, for your toddler, sorry. Uh, but I'm just going to expand this baby room for now. And that is task complete. Now we need to buy a doll's house from the children's store. Your new toddler is going to need toys for playtime. Look in the toddler's tab of the children's store on the town map and buy a doll's house. So I think that you don't actually have to go out onto the town map. You can just do this within the home store. Yeah, now, so we have the infant, the baby section. We also now have the toddler section and we need to buy a doll's house. So these are all the little toys that we can buy now for our toddlers. Can you hear my cat meowing in the background? So we need a doll's house. There's Okay, so there's a cardboard doll house for simoleons and then there are other ones for LP. I'm just going to go ahead and buy the cardboard doll house for 7,000 and that takes up a 4x4 four four space. We'll just put it behind the drawers for now. This is not the ideal room for our toddler. We will adapt this. We will make it work better for them. Let's place that down. Now we need to have a fancy coffee. Phew, that dollhouse was heavy. Your sim needs a bit of an energy hit after that haul. Have a fancy coffee. So we've got a coffee machine here. Click on it and a fancy coffee is five minutes with a one star coffee machine. Tony has had his fancy coffee. Now we need to study geography on a globe. If a toddler is going to be running around the house, then you're going to need to impart your knowledge of the world to them. What were all of the countries called again? <laughs> study a globe to brush up. So we need to go into the decorations tab of the home store and I think there's probably space, yeah, there's probably space down here to place it. So in the home store and into the decorations tab, and we need to find the globe, and that costs 10,000. Let's just place that down there. And once we have placed it, we can click on it and study geography for 12 hours. A long, long time. Tony has finished studying geography on a globe. Now we need to contemplate life at the lake. Isn't the life of a sim fascinating? One moment they're just a weird two-dimensional icon hovering over a crib and the next they're a baby sim. There's a lot to contemplate here. Go to the park lake, tap on the ducks and contemplate life. So let's head out to the park. Over at the park. Oh, we already have a sim over here. So let's click on where the ducks are and contemplate life for 8 minutes and 30 seconds. And whilst that is happening, let's go and complete our family of sims. So we had Alicia that we made and we had the house that we were building. So we can now add another sim because that one is finished. So we're going to add dad and dad is going to be called Matt. So let's go male and Matt. The surname doesn't really matter because they do just take on each other's names. But let's just call him Howard anyway. And the suggestion for Matt is dark brown hair, medium dark skin, and brown eyes. Okay, I've chosen quite a kind of a casual looking outfit for him. So let's add him to the town. This is Matt Howitz. And what we want to do is go over to Alicia's house. At the moment, Alicia has the same house as the Walkers. I am going to change 
this house but we'll bring over Matt and we're just going to build their romantic relationship until they get married, move in together and they can have their baby. We have finished contemplating life at the lake. Now ask the statue in the park for advice. Your sim needs some last minute parenting advice. Who better to give it than the thinking man, the statue in the park near the chessboards. Ask the thinking man about toddlers. Apparently he knows everything. Okay, so this thinking man is going to come into play a few times, I think, throughout Quest. We do have to come over and ask him various things, I think. And also, by the way, you may be noticing characters popping up around the place as I am playing. So we've got these dances here. I think I saw a, yeah, we have a little pet, little pet puppy over here. We have this real estate guy. These are people that we need to click on if we want to start the discovery quests, which are not the main quest. We are going to do the main quests first, and then when we've completed the main quest, we're going to start the discovery quest. Just because with the discovery quests, I find that you generally you need more simoleons. You need to be more further on in the game, in my opinion. So I think the best way to do it is do the discovery quest. No, not the discovery quest first. Do the main quests first. See this little nanny over here? She's from the Nanny Knows Best quest. Yeah, the best way is just actually to do the main quest first and then move on to the discovery quest. When you're more established in the game and you've got enough sims and you've got enough simoleons, that's how I'm going to do it anyway. So here is the thinking man and we need to ask advice for three minutes. We have asked the statue in the park for advice. Now we need to stare at the park statue. The thinking man decided to have an impromptu staring competition. Stare back at the thinking man. So click on the thinking man and stare at him for four seconds. There we go, we've finished staring. Now we need to get some serious advice from him. Okay, enough games. Your sim needs serious advice. Talk to the thinking man again. So click on him again and get some serious advice. It's nine hours and 30 minutes. Polly has finished getting some serious advice from the park statue. Now we need to dance to a stereo. The thinking man says that whenever you're ready to have a toddler, all you need to do is select a baby and tap have a birthday. Easy. Celebrate by dancing to the stereo. Before we go and dance to the stereo, I want to head over to Alicia and Matt Howard's house because they are now at a point where they can get married. So let's go ahead and propose marriage and I'm gonna try the simoleon rings I'm not gonna try the vending machine dinosaur ring I'm gonna try the mood ring and let's see how many times it costs 8,000 see if it were it may work oh sometimes they say yes to it oh no your sim wasn't impressed but I'm gonna try one more time with that ring the mood ring, 8,000. So I haven't got too many simoleons to be wasting on it. But I also don't really want to use my LPs. Oh, no. Okay. So, I don't know which ring, ring to try now. I feel like they like they always say yes to the eternity ring. It's 10 LPs, which is quite a lot. I've got 41 LPs at the moment. I'm going to try this white gold ring for 6 LPs and just cross your fingers that she says yes. Oh, yes, there we go. They are now engaged. Perfect. I'm going to continue working on their romantic relationship and they can get married. And then you can see that they are busy preparing a room for their baby. They haven't painted the walls yet, but they've got a floor and a crib. And that's about all that they have got. I have done a little bit of redecoration on their house as well. Back here. But yeah, they're going to continue working on that. Should we bring over... Let's go over to Melissa and Melissa has a stereo in her house so let's click on it and we just needed to dance right so anyone pop two minutes 42 seconds so she can do that and that's task complete okay that completes straight away that's good we don't have to do that and that is also quest complete you can see down at the bottom 100% completed Congratulations, you can now celebrate the birthdays of your infant sims and grow them into toddlers. This is exciting. And congratulations, you've unlocked the dress-up chest for toddlers. You'll find the dress-up chest in the home store in the toddlers category. 
simply place it in your home and get your toddler to use it to play dress ups. So we will check those prizes out in a second. The Oh, we also have got toddler adoption available to us. So congratulations, you can now adopt toddler sims using the telephone. And the next quest that becomes available is it's all going swimmingly. Get ready to send your sims diving headfirst into the water. Complete this quest to gain access to swimming pools and a new diving hobby for your sims. So we will check that out in the next episode, but let's go and check out the prizes from this quest. So from this quest we've obviously unlocked toddlers and we know how to get a toddler, we just have a baby and then we click on them and click on have a birthday and you need to have a birthday cake obviously to be able to do that and then you will get a toddler. We also unlock the ability to be able to adopt a toddler which is something that I have never done, I don't really know why you would baby do it but it's you can do it if you want, you click on a phone and there is the adopt toddler option for real money. For me, obviously I'm in England, it's 4 99 that will just be whatever it is in your currency. The prize that we got for completing this quest within the time limit was a little dress-up box chest thing. So let's go into the toddler section and the dress-up chest, that's what it's called. The first one is free. We'll just place it down there. First one is free and then, oh, the second one is free. Are they all just free? Let me just... Okay, I don't know whether that's a glitch or something at the moment, but they are just all coming out as free. Okay, who knows? I've just put those ones back in my infantry. And then with a toddler selected, if you click on the dress up chest, you can see there's four different options. We'll have a little look at all four of them. We can dress up as a bee. Toddler will come over to the chest and spin around and change into a bee, which is adorable. Look, take a little look at him running around outside pretending to be a bee. And then, and then also he can change into a panda, so dress up as a panda. Spins around into a panda and he skips along when he's a panda. And then dress up as a robot. I like the robot one. I like the walk, check out that walk. Proper robot walk. <laughs> and also, what's the dress up as a dinosaur? That's the last one. And he kind of walks around like rah, rah. In. It's so adorable. Such cute little dress up outfits, I think. We can, let's change back into his normal clothes. Here we go. And that is the prize from completing this quest. Join me in the next episode where we will be looking at the next quest. But thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you soon for another video. Bye.